Okay, now let's have a look at the background. The background is set by an image that's being created and uh, is named as bg.png. Um, if we go to our images folder, we'll see the image just there as it's selected bg.png. Now we can change that, we can edit that in uh, image editing application, fireworks. And we can change it to pretty much uh, anything that we like. So at the moment I've got it selected as bars. Uh, if I choose anything else, I'll just for example choose a solid colour. As soon as I change it here and I save, go back to Dreamweaver and you'll see that it's changed the background image there straight away. Now you'll notice that the background image is very thin here uh, but it covers the whole background on our website and that's because we've set the background to repeat across the x-axis which is horizontally and the y-axis which is vertically so if the web page uh, starts to get longer than this image it will replicate itself below and keep going until the text runs out or the content in the web page. So at the moment I'm going to change that back just to my slight gradient. I've used a slight gradient as it's quite subtle and it makes the background just look that little bit better. And if we do use a gradient, notice that the top and bottom colours are the same. So when it does repeat on the y-axis up and down, you won't see the join. And the same on the left and right sides, they're the same. So when it repeats across the, the x-axis, uh, you won't see the join there either. So if I just make sure I save that again, and now go back to Dreamweaver, and it's reset back to the original background that I had.